Hey friends, we are ready to draw our Laurel Birch cat. I have my example I made um, yesterday here in front of me. We are going to start first with the head shape and then fill in the face parts of the cat, work on the body, this kind of sneaking around tail, the legs um, and the feet and add a design inside of our cat. Before we get started, you um, are going to need a white sheet of paper, something to draw with. You can draw with marker right away, or if you would prefer to start with pencil and then trace with either marker or a dark colored pencil, or even make your line darker with your pencil, that's up to you, but something to really make your line look like a nice dark line on your paper. We want to find um, the middle of our paper to kind of break our paper up into four sections. So you have two choices. If you don't like having your paper folded, you don't have to fold it. You can kind of find the middle, and it doesn't have to be exactly the middle. You, can, With your pencil, draw the lightest line across, something that you'll be able to erase easily later. Don't take your pencil and draw the darkest line you can. That's going to be difficult to um, erase <clears throat> later on. And then just, you see how I turn my paper? Because I can draw a horizontal line pretty easily this way. And again, just a really light line. You might not even be able to see it, but I trust me, there is a pencil line that broke this up into four parts. Or you can certainly, if you don't wanna do that, take um, your paper, and I'm just working with a regular white um, printer paper, fold it in half long ways, and then fold it in half again, short end to short end. And then when you have it open up, you have your fold. So either way is fine, just wanted to give you that option. To start, we are going to be focusing our attention in this section right here, because this is the section that we are going to draw the head, nice and big. And we are going to first start by drawing kind of a W shape from the tip of the ear, around, up, around, and to the tip of the ear. So this is probably um, the hardest line that we'll draw because it's the first one and it kind of sets the tone for the whole drawing. So don't, after you draw it, feel like, oh, it's terrible, I have to erase and start over. One way to feel a little bit more confident about your drawing is to practice, pretend you're drawing first. So way up here is where the top of the ear will be. Let's practice this line so it doesn't go straight down. We look at our cat, kind of goes out a little bit to give our cat some chubby cheeks. Starting up here, we're gonna go around. Let your pencil touch the fold. The cheeks go right to the fold or the line you drew. Up, up, and then reach all the way to this side as much as you can and to the top where your other one went your other um, top of your ear went. So really your whole face of your cat fills this section here, okay? So one more practice, bump around and up. All right, I'm feeling good. I'm gonna give it a try. If you are doing with pencil, just don't press real hard and press really lightly. Look at where I'm holding my pencil. I'm holding it way back. And that makes me not wanna press down really hard like I'm writing my name. Hold it back a little bit. All right, going around. I'm gonna touch the fold or the line, bump, and bump. And there's my W. Now we're going to finish the top of the ears with a down, over, up line. So we're gonna go down, straight across, and attach it to there. You can put two little design lines inside your ears, fantastic. Now the nose. Let's bring your line here up just a little bit more. And inside, it's a rectangle shape that doesn't get closed off at the top. So down, over, up. Remember, you can always pause me if I'm going too fast. Start here and you're going to do a frowny line all the way to the side of the head. Frowny line over, smiley line that way. Same thing on this side. 
frowny line. And this cat has two different sized eyes and I'm gonna be okay with that. Going to do another smiley line underneath both. Inside, it's a curve, almost like parentheses and a circle inside. I'm gonna start with my circle first there on that one. Cool. I'm gonna add our tongue and our whiskers. The whiskers are gonna start here and they're gonna reach all the way outside of the cat's face. That way, one, two, three. Make sure you reach them all the way outside the cat's face. All right, fantastic. Now we have a really long line to draw. It starts here above the eye. It goes around in this section, into this section, and then we are going to stop it on the fold down here. So before we draw the line on this part, if you don't have a fold and you have a line here, we are going to have our line, let's see if we can measure it with our, I think one mine, I drew lines from your tip of your finger to like your first little knuckle there. You can kind of measure it that way. Put a little dot right on that fold. So now you know where you're going. And I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna practice first. Out, around, and bump. Do you see how I didn't go like this? Watch again, around, I'm going down and then up a little bit. All right, here we go, I'm feeling good. It's gonna be a big line, it's a big cat. Around, now I'm not gonna connect it yet. I'm gonna come down a little bit and then go up. Okay, perfect. Now let's work on this kind of curvy line here. We're gonna stop it there. So our line is going to go this way into this section, then back into this section, and then it's going to stop on the line. We're gonna go this way, this way, and then we're gonna stop because then we're gonna just bring it around and finish. All right, we're gonna break this into a little bit of a few parts. So starting here, practice again this way, into this way, and then stop out this way and then stop okay now since we're here we're going to go down around and we're going to try to stay the same width away as we draw we don't want our tail to get too skinny and then get real fat again so we're going to practice again this way around it gets pretty close to the face here here and then kind of stops right there here we go down around around don't get too skinny stay that far away and stop cool again if you need some extra time don't be afraid to pause your video and just take your time as you're drawing it doesn't have to look exactly like this but close to it would be great now I have an easy line for you. We're gonna start here in the cheek. We're gonna go straight down, bump, and bump into that tail for the legs right here. We're gonna go down, bump, and bump. Ready? Down, bump, nice big pause, and bump. Three lines for the claws. And that is our drawing. Now we are ready to add designs inside. I'm gonna give you some choices. In this one, I chose triangles. In this next one, I'm going to do circles. If you wanna do another type of design, if you wanna fill your cat with flowers or stripes, zigzag lines, I just want you to stick with one thing though, and I want you to create a repeating pattern in your cat. We put too much of different types of patterns. It can get a little bit too busy. So I'm gonna start with circles. You can start ahead with just a circle there. But don't forget to also maybe do like a, some circles going off of your cat. You can ev even do some different size circles around. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill my cat up with circles. All 
All right, notice I didn't put any designs in the head. You could if you want to do something um, simple up here. Maybe I'll put like a half a circle on the forehead of my cat. When that is finished, and if you didn't start with Sharpie or marker from the start, go ahead and trace your cat um, with your marker. tracing. Um, you may have noticed in this picture, I did go ahead and make some of my lines thicker than others with my Sharpie, and that's just something that if you want to do, you can, especially at the eyes. I made the top eye line a lot thicker than the bottom, and I think it just creates some extra um, added interest when all your lines don't look the same exact thickness. You can play around with different thicknesses um, before you start coloring. I chose to go ahead and color mine with color pencil on this one. Um, what I would like you to think about as you're coloring, especially if you're using colored pencil, is blending your colors together. So there's no spot in this picture where I've just used one color. In the cat's body, I have yellow, and I blended a little bit of this orange with it. In the tail, I have reds, I have pinks, I have oranges. The cheeks, I have pinks to oranges. The head, I have yellows to oranges. And think about contrast. Think about coloring the tail, something that will be different than the body, so it pops out. Same with the face. Think about coloring the top part of the head, something different than the cheeks, so this kind of pops out. The eyes I chose to have the only cool color of my cat again, so that kind of pops out and grabs my attention right away. So think about what colors you'd like to use and how you're going to create that kind of contrast throughout your work. So I'm going to pick a different color scheme for this cat. Um, so you can go ahead and watch as I color and see how I'm using different color pencils to blend things together. <laughs> really, I'm just enjoying my two different size eyes right now. All right, have fun. For now, um, I gave my most, um, the emphasis of my cat, I think it goes right here to this cool color part of the face since this is the only place that I use cool colors. So when you isolate a section or um, cool colors in one area, you kind of draw attention to that. Um, and I kept everything else kind of warm. You see how it gives a much different appearance than this one. So have fun with this. I can't wait to see all of your fantastic felines. <laughs>